now we are going to see the coronal section of this pharynx now you can see here so this side comes anterior one and here comes the posterior one we have taken the coronal section now let us go for the coronal section now here you can make out the section is taken in between this anterior cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa so we have removed the vertebral column posterior cranial fossa now what we can see is the posterior aspect of the pharynx now this is the base of the skull base of the skull now I, if i take a midline incision through this pharynx posterior wall of the pharynx what we can see the interior of this pharynx interior of the pharynx now this is the nasal cavity and here is the soft palate this is the uvula or soft palate this is nothing but the posterior side of the tongue and here is the epiglottis so the three divisions of the pharynx uh, from this uh, base of the skull to the soft palate this much is the nasopharynx then from the soft palate to the free margin of the epiglottis this is oropharynx and from this epiglottis posteriorly there will be the cricoid cartilage or the lamina of the cricoid cartilage that is this one so here is the lower border of the cricoid cartilage so this much is the larynx of pharynx and here is the laryngeal inlet and here is the start of this larynx so in this what we can see if i reflect this upper free margin of this epiglottis you can make out one median fold you can make out this median fold now it is coming from this tongue going to the epiglottis that's why it is median glossoepiglottic fold on lateral side you can make out lateral glossoepiglottic fold so there are two folds coming from this tongue to this epiglottis one is in the midline that's why median glossoepiglottic and lateral epiglottic fold and in between that you can make out one fossa now this is called as vallecula epiglottic vallecula so there are two epiglottic vallecula on either side of this median glossoepiglottic fold now again here you can make out this ary epiglottic fold and just lateral to that on both side you can see pyriform fossa so these two are pyriform fossa so this was the coronal section now <coughs> if i close this pharynx on this posterior aspect there is constrictors of the pharynx constrictor of the pharynx so there are three constrictors superior middle and the inferior and they come on in the midline and make a raphe which gets attached to this pharyngeal tubercle below the base of the skull so in the midline both sides of the constrictor they come in contact and they make a raphe which get attached at the base of the skull